Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today's episode is a transfer special as we look to build for life in League One. And with that being said, first signing is through the door. Philip Rankin from Huddersfield's under 23s has signed a deal to come in on the 1st of July. Good heading, good marking, good tackling. His position is pretty good. Bravery, aggression are good. Jumping reach, natural fitness, strength are all in the yellows, all pretty good. It looks like he may be one for the future, 21 years of age. We're still scouting him. Could be five star potential. I doubt he will be that good, but he bolsters the squad and Ben Barkley's asked to leave. He's been at the club for eight years, he's asked to go, so we need to find some replacements, especially some squad players as well, not just first team players that are going to be unhappy if they aren't getting the game time. So, first signing through the door is Philip Rankin, he'll join up with the squad on the 1st of July. Also, I thought this was the perfect time to have a complete overhaul of the staff, so all of the coaches have gone, we're going to look at bringing in a whole new backroom team. Uh, we'll look at changing the scouts maybe sometime over the summer as well. Medical staff, we're still lacking a physio and a head of sports science, so we will look at replacing those as well. But our, uh, our comparison was so low compared to the teams in League 2, never mind League 1. So a whole new look at this now to try and get a worthwhile back team in. And we have signed Liam Shaw, who is someone who can play centre back, centre mid, uh, defensive midfield, sorry, and central midfield. A lot of decent numbers there across the board. He's a three and a half star player, reached his potential. He's 28 years of age. He comes in, really does bolster that central midfield area because we really only have Florent Hottie and Charlie McCann as those central midfielders. So Liam Shaw comes in, good jumping reach, six foot three centre midfielder. Strength and stamina are pretty good. Natural fitness is pretty good. You look at everything he does here. If we move him to centre midfield on attack. Good first touch, good long shots, passing is very good, tackling and technique are pretty good, vision and work rate are good, decisions are good, pretty good all across the board, solid numbers, nowhere where he's really lacking, his leadership is poor but we don't need him for that, so he comes in, he has spent his career, he's been at Sheffield Wednesday, Chesterfield, he played a season at Celtic, it was at Blackpool, uh, didn't play many games for Celtic, 10 games over 3 seasons there. Uh, had some time at Stoke, played in Skybet League 1 for Luton and more recently played 40 games for Sutton in Skybet League 1 who they fin they are in Skybet League 1 still so they finished in 20th so he is a League 1 quality player and to top that off Cammy Kerr has decided to leave the club he's going to York he's 33 years of age hasn't spent a lot of time on the pitch last season 7 games he played 31 in the season before that in the National League surplus to requirements so he is gone so some personal accolades, Skybet League 2 Manager of the Year, 46 matches, 67% win ratio, 1,189 manager points, record high points total as well, 103 points is a new Skybet League 2 record. And we have some Stockport players named in the players select, Webb, Serena, Reed, Tumwoody and Benjamin, McCann and Alexander all in there. Only two from Sunderland, Evans and Miller. Kind of a surprise and Colin James, due to his form, has been handed a call up for Trinidad and Tobago for the games against Costa Rica and Honduras. That is a nice little bit of information to come through. Still no more transfer news as we speak. We're looking at trying to offload a few players at the moment and trying to be clinical on who we bring in, make sure we bring the right players in and make sure they are good enough to strengthen the side and they're not just going to come in and sit on the bench for a season. Third signing through the door is Bradley Reed, a 23-year-old midfielder, three-star player, can potentially be four and a half, so can potentially be a good Skybet Championship player. He comes in from Coleraine, came through the ranks there, played a lot of games, 185 appearances, 62 assists in those 185 games, and assists every three games. We've spent £145,000, not that up front, we spent a couple of thousand up front, maybe 30000 up front, something like that. And a lot based on appearances and what he does. Good stamina, good balance. If you look at him in, so if we look at him in that central midfield on attack roles, first touch is okay. Long shots is poor. Passing is good. Tackling is good. Work rate is fantastic. Vision and teamwork are good. Off the ball probably needs a point or two. Physicals are okay apart from his jumping reach. He's a five foot eight um, central midfielder. Forget we play. Uh, it's a box to box. So as a box to box midfielder on support. See, dribbling, if we can just get that dribbling and first touch slightly better, that's where we'll be looking to train him. He, we 
probably have a good player in. It's another central midfielder, does strengthen that area. And again, he can play in that defensive midfield role or the central defence role, which is ideal, having players that can play multiple roles, especially if we get any injuries or suspensions. Eight-year veteran of Stockport County, Ben Barkley, has left the club. 30-year-old experienced centre-back has gone to Northampton Town for just under £50,000. That could rise to 67 over uh, the coming years. He had just over a year left. He asked to leave, said he'd done all he can for the club, played a lot of games over the years. I mean, the fewest games he played in the season was 27. In the two seasons that I've been here, he's played... 65 games, he's got three goals, four assists, four man of the matches. Average was that about a seven point, maybe about a seven point two eight, something like that. He's been a very good player for us. He goes to Northampton, who are also in Skybet League One, so it's interesting what he's going to do going forward. But it's a good bite to Ben Barkley, and we also have seen an offer come in for Roberto Moran, who's someone we've been bringing through slowly. Panorama National League North side Hartlepool United. You're actually Vanarama National League side now, Hartlepool United, after winning the playoffs. They've offered a deal, 90% of his wages as well. I think that is a worthwhile deal. He, one and a half star, can be potentially be four star. Played ten times last season. Five uh, In total, he played five starts, nine substitute appearances. Got a couple of goals as well in all competitions, one in the league. So not a bad little player. We've sort of been bringing him through slowly and... This will be good for his development now to get away, hopefully get a lot of game time in the Vanarama National League, hopefully help Hartlepool survive, and then he can come back to us a much better player. So the next bit of news is Barrow have made a loan approach for Philip Rankin, the 21-year-old centre-back, so we're going to let him go out on loan. We did agree that that would be part of his uh, deal to come with it, go out on loan in the first season. We've also brought in two more players. Terry Green is a striker. He comes in on a free transfer, £750 a week, and Mike Weir is a 20-year-old goalkeeper, backup goalkeeper, Knows he's going to be a backup goalkeeper. He's going to come in on, I believe, the 1st of July as Will Green. Bolsters up the squad. Terry Green finishing a 9. Some OK numbers there. Decent physically. Not going to be first choice striker by any stretch of the imagination. But we don't have any out and out strikers behind George Alexander. We have a lot of players that are wingers that can play up front. But no out and out strikers. So Terry Green comes in as an out and out striker. He's a pressing forward. We'll try and change that slightly. But he's took a massive pay cut as well to join us from Wrexham. So, um, sorry, from... Where's he at? Cardiff, sorry. And then Weir has come in from Wrexham. Nothing spectacular there. Good size goalkeeper, six foot four. Played a few games for Wrexham in the Vanarama National. Done nothing else, really. So he'll come in, back up goalkeeper, as I say. And we needed one because we didn't have a backup goalkeeper last year. And we had that little knock to Webb. Um, midway through the season and we had no replacement uh, to put in so he'll come in as the backup goalkeeper we are back today for the Carabao Cup first round we're going to draw all teams a massive draw we are away at League 1 Salford who have been a yo-yo team relegated, promoted, relegated, promoted relegated, promoted and finally stayed up just by the skin of their teeth 20th last season just outside of the Relegation places, they finished with, oh, they did it on goal difference as well. So they stopped that trend of being a yo-yo team. They'll be a team that we really need to sort of look at this season as beating and getting about because they're clearly, you know, probably not good enough for this league. But they are too good for League 2. I didn't think the jump up was going to be that big. We are predicted to finish 21st, 50-1. to 1. Bolton, who came up through the playoffs, are expected to... Win the league, ninety-one to one on Sunderland are eleven to one. Birmingham City who got relegated are eleven to one. Some tough teams at that top end of the table. I mean, if you look at it, you've got Bolton, Birmingham, Sunderland, Sheffield Wednesday, Charlton, uh, Blackpool. All teams that have been in the Premier League in the last sort of you know twenty years or so. So it's going to be a really really tough ask to get out of this division. Then you had the likes of Millwall and MK Dons in there. Rotherham, Burton. I didn't realise this was, division was going to be as difficult as it is. And a big, big sign in, in my opinion, we have got Lewis Martin has come in for. It was about 140,000 we paid for him, 225 in total. He's coming from West Ham. He's played some games in the Premier League. He's actually scored in the Premier League. He's a two and a half star player, could potentially be four and a half star. 
but it's these numbers here for the advanced forward draw 14 dribbling 16 finishing 14 first touches passing could do with being improved slightly techniques decent off the balls good decision making is good anticipation and composure okay it's physicals for 90 and a fantastic 5 for 10 striker good agility his pace is okay like i said we can get him working on that passing ability he could be a real real star 16 finishing i'm not sure where that compares to anyone else best finisher in the side by a mile when you think that george alexander is only 11 his is 16 he probably will start as first choice striker this season really wanted to get this one over the line star rating i don't think does him enough justice especially for the position that he plays some low numbers in other places vision not great his teamwork's poor position is poor but if he can get in behind if he can take that first touch if he can get the shots away i think we've got a player here that could potentially score us 20 plus goals in this division i hope that doesn't come back to bite me in the arse next player through the door is a winger shade and morris three star player three and a half star potential probably won't fill that out he's 27 years old Spent his career at Fleetwood, went on loan to Crawley, then went to Colchester. So he's played games in League 1, League 2. Last season played 31 games in League 1, League 2, sorry, on loan for Bolton. Uh, part of their promotion winning side. So he comes to us now on a free transfer. Numbers are pretty good. Uh, 5 foot 10 winger. Acceleration, pace is pretty good. Stamina's okay. Work rate's pretty good. Dribbling's pretty good. Crossing probably could do with a point or two more. His finishing's okay as well. So maybe he can grab a couple of goals from out there on the right-hand side. But he's the next one in. Shade and Morris joins Stockport County. And on the eve of a new season, we get a new contract. It is a three-year deal. £1,800 a week. £58,000 wage budget still. And then we're looking at working to become an established Skybet League 1 side over the next three about well, three and a bit years so we want to do more than that we don't want to just be a league one side we've done so well as a manager we've worked our way up from tier nine all the way up to tier number three we want to go all the way now i'd like to do it with stockport county but as the terms of this save have kind of changed from a road to glory into i don't want to say a journeyman but like a yeah you know, rise to the top sort of thing as a manager I don't mind if I have to move on, but as for now, three-year deal at Stockport. We're going to get on and hopefully get into this season. So unless things change, this will be the last signing of this summer transfer window. Graham Donnelly comes in, two-and-a-half star player, can get up to three-and-a-half. Good Skybet League One player, the potential to be. He says he's a striker, can play up from 13 finishing, 15 dribbling, uh, eight crossing, 12 first touch. Probably will also fill in on the left-hand side of midfield as well to get another player with decent finishing that can possibly have some game time up front um, just bolsters up that side as well the side is going to look like this for the first game we're going to show it now um, I don't expect much to change for this, the side is going to look like this it's going to be webbing goal, the back four very very familiar to regular viewers Serena, Benjamin, Dunwoody and Reed across the back Flynn Marriott has come in, he's a 22 year old, he will be the defensive midfielder this year. It looks as if Shaw and Hotty may start together in the midfield. Covers on the left, Morris is on the right, Martin is playing up front. That is the, uh, the team we're going to go with for the first game of the season. New signings on the bench, Mike Weir, Josh Pemberty, Harry Hughes and Joe Smith are from the youth, um, youth team. Uh, Harry Hughes we brought in on a free from Chesson he went out on low and last season to Berkham said played 28 games we're a bit lacking in that central defensive area that's why him and Joe Smith who's 16 years of age he came through our youth ranks last season then the centre backs on the bench James Penrice 30 year old left back probably going to start winding him down he is the backup left back George Abbott has moved out of the side at the moment he sits on the bench he's the backup defensive midfielder or first choice I think those two will interchange quite a bit. The two central midfielders we've got on the bench, Bradley Reed and Charlie McCann. Charlie McCann, we know, can do a job. He's done it in both Vanarama National and uh, Skybet League. Two, 17 goals in the National, nine in the um, Skybet League 2. Average 7.62, 7.17. Slightly aware that his average dropped off by nearly half a point in, um, in Skybet League 2. So... That's so why we're a little bit cautious about having him in the first team at the moment. Uh, new sign Terry Green is sort of our backup right winger, can play up front as well. 
some okay numbers there. Uh, if we look at him as a right winger uh, on attack, flair is good, off the ball is good, pace is good, acceleration and agility. Probably just needs a bit more on his first touch, dribbling and crossing from pretty nice, and he's passing. Passing is pretty poor, but he's a backup. 22 years of age as well. And then the other three players on the bench at the moment we all know about, Callum Kavanagh, who's been here a while. He is now 25 years of age, uh, 7.04 in the National League, 7.03 in Scarlet League, 2, 7 and 8 goals, 15 in those uh, two seasons, 9 assists. So did it at both levels. Uh, George Alexander, the striker who got 17 goals that season, wasn't as prolific as I'd have liked him to be, but he did a job for us in League 2. And I mean, if he's going to be the backup striker, that is a very, very good backup striker to have. And then we've got Dwayne Bather, who is a 22-year-old, came through our youth ranks, spent a season out on loan in the Northern Premier League, Premier Division at Basford. And he's come through, he played 35 games in the National League, scored four goals, got 31 the season after that, getting eight goals. 23 games in Scarlet League 2 scoring 4 goals so he's been a player that has been around the club played a lot of games for us 2.5 star can get up to 3.5 star hopefully a good season in League 1 can uh, can get him up to that level and as we just saw Graham Donnelly the last player to come in he uh, came through the ranks at Newcastle went to Gillingham on a free played a lot of games in Scarlet League 2 for Gillingham 152 times for Gillingham scoring 40 goals getting 6 assists like I say, prom probably predominantly be a left winger, but if we do need a backup striker, he'll be in that role. As I said, I think that is going to be all of our transfer business done today. We have no more money left. A three thousand over our wage budget. I clicked on the wrong screen there. Three thousand over our wage budget. No transfer budget left due to the sales and everything. We have got a little bit of money in the club now. Uh, three quarters of a million in the club. So actually, why we're here? Let's see if we can just improve something. Improve the youth facilities. Has that gone straight through? No, it hasn't. Let me just go forward a day. Let's see the rejectors altogether. No, nope. three hundred forty-six thousand pounds. We've improved the youth facilities. That is a nice bit of business. That'll be done on the third of January. That takes us down to four hundred twenty-one thousand. But at this point, I don't really care. Absolutely fantastic. All the board are feeling very very generous coaching badge as well and um, what should we do for the last one um, improve youth recruitment can you give me that let's go forward one more day let's have a quick look uh, quickly do this with Donnelly uh, looking at ways we can change for the better experience being in the right environment for potential to flourish uh, He's a player of real quality. I see some of these. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. <sighs> Will Graham Donald be able to settle in quickly? Um, it always helps have a familiar face or two. At these press conferences, especially when you get into sort of 2029, just bore the living daylights out of me. Just waiting to see if they're going to give us anything. Luis Webb is out for one to three days. That shouldn't make a lot of difference. Have we missed the fact that they've rejected us? No, they haven't yet, have they? So, keep the collective bonuses, dynamics, slight change. Uh, Charlie McCann is now the only team leader we've got, but Abbott, Penrose, Webb, Hotty, Cover, Benjamin Alexander, all highly influential players. Let's have a quick look at the dynamics as well. Team cohesion is good, club atmosphere is good, managerial support is excellent. Callum Kavanagh is unhappy because he wants to start more games. Brandon Cover is unhappy that the coaching team was not improved, but it was. As you see now, in Skybet League 1, we have pretty good everything. Uh, fourth average, third average, uh, third average there, second average, best defensive attacking of fitness in the league, mentals are third, second in technicals, tactical second, and people management is third. So we're in a good position. Probably next year we'll improve the scouts as well maybe see if we can no we can't I was say maybe see if we can uh, add some more scouts to it but we can't and one last thing we'll do before uh, we end the episode and I don't know why I've done Carabao League Cup here we go Skybet League 1 let's see what our transfer business is doing we're up to 15th now 33 to 1 Bolton still favourites Sheffield Wednesday and Birmingham second and third favourites Sunderland's dropped down to 9th which is 
slightly odd, but we are in a position there where, according to the media, we should finish mid-table comfortably. I'd like to uh, do a bit more than that, but I know it might not be possible in this first season. Uh, not a lot of business done, once again. We go to the screen here, so Donnelly, Marriott, Morris, Pemberty, Martin, Weir and Green. They've just moved back to the back end of last season. Uh, Rankin, Shaw and Reed were the other players that came through. The only thing we might do in the meantime is potentially look at some loans. Uh, but considering we don't have an affiliate club, it might be difficult to get some loans in for players that we don't have to pay any money for. See, we did that with Derby last season, got a couple of players in that we didn't have to pay anything for. But there's nothing really around. I've looked at this guy, Alex Patterson, but obviously now that we're over our wage budget, it's probably a no-go. But he probably wants around £3,000. And he's 31, so he doesn't fit in with the club vision of signing players under the age of 23 for the first team. In terms of the ages of the squad, hold this player we've got is James Penrose, 30. Martin is 19, Richie Reed is 20, he has excelled since coming in, came through the ranks at, Stop at uh, Stockport, didn't play for the first year and a bit, went out on low to FC United, played 38 games, came back and has played 68 games since, 4 goals, 3 assists, 5 man of the matches and his average, what's that, about about a 7.38 for the for the two seasons he's played, absolutely fantastic and he will get his chance to play in League One, so does Webb. Reed, Dunwoody, Benjamin, Serino, Hotte, Cover, all of those players, um, barring Benjamin and Serino, I think a lot of these players were in the National League with us. They all get a chance to prove themselves in Skybet League 1, add a little bit of value to their name as well. Terry Green is the highest value player apparently, 325000 600000 for a player that's probably not going to play much. Wages. Pretty steady as well. Highest paid player was Liam Shaw, 3,900. Brandy Reed, 3,800. Um, and then obviously you've got these players down the bottom. Joe Smith, Harry Hughes, on under £200 a week. Anyway, I think I'm rattling now. If you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time for the start of League One season. Hopefully we can get off to a flyer and not get ourselves into any trouble. I'll see you soon.